yesterday on Let's Get Wired. These are the templates. They're available for the next week in the Slack app. I'm going to put the link in the description. And we are working on this sun catcher. I started it yesterday. This is what we have so far with the giraffe, the elephant, and the monkey. So without further ado, I am going to flip the screen and we are going to get started continuing on that. So let me pull up the video on YouTube. As always, here's the template. There is what we've got so far. So I wanna add some more things. We're just gonna be on the live stream for about one hour to see what we can get done. And I will pick up the video now. You can see the live stream of the other one and I'm also gonna get the link to Slack. So let me just adjust these. Hi, Amber. Hi, Sharon. Hey, Kat. How are you? Awesome. So let me just grab the link for Slack. I want to make sure that we are centered on the table. I'm going to bring this out a little bit more and see if you guys can see my uh, stuff. It always takes a couple minutes to get set up. So I can, um, I'm just going to grab the app. There we go. So if you guys don't know, on the Let's Get Wired live streams, we share work in progress and you guys can work with me. So I'm just going to put this, let's get, uh, uh, no, okay, I'm going to go um, join Slack in the Let's Get Wired section to sh share your jungle animals. There we go. So we're going to just put the link. I am going to pin it to the top. There we go. And hi, Maria. How are you? Love my channel. Thank you. So uh, if you guys don't already know, Tree Sap Girl is Amber. Amber, I always appreciate when you're on. Amber is one of the moderators of my channel. So if I miss any comments, she'll let me know. And this is what we started yesterday, which was the uh, animals, sun catcher, the jungle animals. This is the template you can get free for the next week in the Slack app. And after a week, I will put it in my Etsy DIY shop and you can get all these templates for the different uh, animals. And then this was last week's regular live stream, which that's in my Etsy DIY shop is the monkeys. So Amber had shared uh, her monkeys in the Slack app. I'll show you, I'll show you the app. We're just going to put these ones out and make sure I can find the app on my iPad. I should have been a little bit more organized, but we will see what we can do. I am going to look for, where can I find it? I think I can find it in our chat, Amber. I'm going to go back there. I'm going to scroll way back because we have quite a bit of chat going on there. Back, back, back. And just find the Slack, Slack app on my iPad. There we go. So we are going to open Slack. So um, continue. Continue. Why isn't it let me Oh, is it, hopefully it's letting me open it here. Oh no, I'm having trouble opening Slack now. That's not good. Oh, here I found it. Okay, good. So this is the Slack app here and you'll see the templates. And like I said, they're here, they're gonna be here for the next week until next Sunday. So you guys can get the templates there. And Amber had set, shared in the Let's, so this is the Let's Get Wired section, and Amber had shared her monkey face there. So that's that. So you guys can, if you're working on the, on the jungle animals, you can share in this section. So there we go. So this is the section there. If you guys share, let me know. And Jezerbeck, hello. So let's just get going and keep going with this. So we have all of these. I want to do the parrot. I want to do some trees and the butterfly and some grass. So let's see what we can do. We'll just get started with that. 
Maybe I'll do one of the trees. So we're gonna get these and I will do the trunk of the tree in brown. And as always, I never really know what direction I'm going with this stuff until I start. So I'm troubleshooting the designs as we go. And I was gonna finish it on my own and I said, well, why don't I just go live and finish it on the live stream? So that's what we're doing today. To move some of the extra stuff out of the way that's just distracting and I will get the this one for the tree I'm not really sure how much uh, a wire I'm gonna need because I might put some detail in there although I could put the detail with a thinner wire I suppose I'm just gonna cut a piece for now we're gonna see how it goes and the idea would be to do the tree up here so the this this little thing here I did twisting on there which worked out quite well I actually think I have some 22 gauge brown wire that might be good to fill in some of that area with I do have a nice 22 gauge brown wire I forgot about that so this is my 22 gauge brown I don't know where I got this it's from someplace, I'm not sure, but it's uh, it's a cool wire, and probably got it from a hardware store. There goes one of my 20 gauge wires. So we're gonna pull that one up, and then of course we want to do these branches. These for the these um, not branches, leaves, I guess you call them for the palm trees. But I also really like the leaves on this template with the squiggly lines. So maybe we could do something like that. And there's a snake too. We could put a snake in there as well, but we don't want it to be overkill. So let's get some green wire. This is 20 gauge wire. I'm gonna hop from one area of the sun catcher to the other. I think I'm gonna start with the leaves to see how that goes. Let me really get all this stuff out of the way because it's very distracting when there's a lot of stuff. and. The live stream, um, you can come and go. It definitely takes me a while to troubleshoot some of these designs. So if you'd rather watch the replay and skip through to the different sections, uh, Amber usually does the timestamps and within a couple of days, so you guys will be able to see if you wanna to jump to a certain part of the project, you can do that. So let's go ahead and get some of this green wire. And then I'm going to get my flat pliers. The other pliers that I have for more detail are the Zeron tweezer nose pliers. So I can get those because they're very useful as well. This is the tweezer nose pliers. They just have a little finer tip. So these ones are quite nice. And we're gonna do this and just start forming the leaves. So let me get this to show you. I'm not gonna actually trace it because I'm gonna make them smaller than this, but what I'm gonna do, got the notes for part one finished up. Aw, oh, nice. Thank you, Amber. I super appreciate your help with that because it really is helpful for people to be able to look at the timestamps and go to the area that they want. So for the branch I'm going to just make the end more pointy like that and then I want to bring this down this is going to be towards the middle so if we just take that one and the wire is very long so I want to follow the bends so we're going to take this this one's going to more go towards the the middle I think Here, let me just get this yeah it's very tricky with the long wire so we're just going to bend that and I want to do some just little this type of bend but maybe not too much either and you don't want them super evenly spaced we're just going to bring that here and then keep in mind what size this is going to be so this is going to be one of the leaves on there and we're going to bring this one over here and then if you guys are making the jungle animals with me and want to share pictures in the slack app go ahead i think for the next time i do the let's get wired i'm going to try to find a better app 
to share photos because the trouble with Slack is with the version of Slack that I have, you can't really keep the photos. They're only there for three months, so that's an issue. But um, it's okay just for just for now. It's uh, next time I'll try to get something a little better. So now I just want to do these little jaggedy edges in the palm tree and. I'm not gonna worry too much if they're like super even. We're just gonna do what we can. And then if you want that kind of pointy end, you just bend it back on itself. And then we can go around here. And you could leave this top part smooth if you want. So this looks kind of like a profile of the palm tree and then we're gonna bring this one down hi Peggy how are you so now we're just gonna keep going with this I'm gonna try not to make it too too big and we're going to try to get it so it's a decent size to fit in the sun catcher because if it's too big it just won't fit very well so we're gonna go around here bring this one around and Come around here and around here so we're gonna see because already I feel like it's getting a little bit big so I'm going to start reining it in a little bit so we'll just be the top one and keep it somewhat small so we're gonna just bring it in here and that one down here a bit and this will be the top part of the palm tree so we've got that and then around here, yeah, I really, I don't want it to be too big at the top. So I'm just gonna, I don't know what that is, but that's like a stylized part of the top of the tree. <laughs> I don't know what that is, but we're gonna see. And then up here, maybe that can just come kind of down in here a little bit. Around here. And then we're gonna go back, bend it back the other way. So here we go, down here. Okay, so we just have a couple people that have joined. Karen Edwards joined last night. Joanne Brown has joined just now to the Slack app. That's awesome. So if you guys are working with me, go ahead and share pictures of your what you're working on for your animals. Could be you could do a single animal, you can do the sun catcher, whatever you feel like doing is good so I'm just going to keep going around to finish the palm tree and then we're going to somehow attach it so also I might have wanted to fill in these leaves a little bit but I'm not going to worry too much about it I just want to keep it relatively simple and then when you guys make it you can always add some little details to make it your own for sure Doing okay. Sleepy. Yeah, Monday Monday is a normal day to feel sleepy, that's for sure. Yeah, I, I feel not too bad. I got a decent sleep last night. Okay, so there's our what we have so far for the palm tree. And maybe I'll do one more, one more little branch down here. I'm gonna bring these and then we could we could push them in a little bit more too if we want. So we're gonna do one more little branch we're going to bring that one in they're not really branches they're leaves right so we're going to bring this one up and down and up uh, yeah the all the other uh, let's get wired live streams we've done which were documented in the slack app they disappeared because i didn't have the paid version of the app so that was unfortunate because there was some really cool work in there, but I always try to do a slideshow of viewers' work. So if you guys do make these jungle animals, I'll end up doing a slideshow and putting it on YouTube so that you'll be able to see it. I'm not sure what happened to my brown piece of wire for the trunk. And oh, you know what? The other thing I could do is to give it texture, which I've done before. It's more like a weave-in. A woven, weaving, that's not a word, a woven trunk. So let's try that. I'm going to get a bunch. I didn't even think to do that. Let's try that. 
So we're gonna get a bunch of these 22 gauge pieces of wire. I think that might work uh, better. I believe they're called fronds. Whew, who knew? That's awesome. I have to go have a beautiful day. Oh, Kat, always nice to see you. Thank you so much for popping in. It always makes my day to see you. Hop on the live stream. I have that beautiful collage you made me in my studio. I see it every day. It just makes me very, very happy. So thank you for that. So now we are going to take these wires. I'm going to leave a little extra so these can be bent into the frame to hold them in place. So how I weave the trees is I'm just going to take a few of these. I don't think we need that many, maybe three. We're going to just bend these in and another one. I'm going to bend this in. I just realized I got grease all over my templates, but that's okay. They're just printouts. I could print out some more copies. So those ones that I put in the Slack app, you guys can print them out and then you'll have them and you can save the files. So you'll have them indefinitely. So I want to stagger these a little bit because they're going to go around the circle. So, and we want to leave enough to bend. So go ahead and leave enough space. So well, how I do this is I'm just going to, I do a twist. These aren't really woven. It's a fake weave, maybe. I don't know what, what you call this, but this is a method I like to do the trees. So we're going to twist. They're like twisted trees. And then we're going to take another one down here. You can do as many as you want. You could do four if you want it thicker. I'm going to just, I think, start with three. And then we're going to go one, two, three. So we have it looks like six pieces of wire because there's three pieces folded in half. So all I do is I alternate, go here, one, two, three, and then the middle one, cross over top, one, two, three, and then this one, cross over top, and we're going to go one, two, three. And then we take, leave the first one and twist the middle ones. Two, three, that way. And one, two, three. It doesn't necessarily have the same texture as a palm tree, but it might make an interesting texture. We're gonna try. So I'm just gonna keep going with this until it's the right height. And we'll discover if it's indeed a good way to do the trees. I'm not 100% sure we're going to see. Go there and now we want to crisscross these ones. Two, three, and this one. One, two, three, and we'll go a little bit more. We'll do at least one more and we're going to see if it's the right height. There and that one. One, two, three and that one one two three so if we bring this one back get that my tools are getting caught in the sun catcher so there we've got that so and then we want this tree to go up that way so we're gonna have to do a little bit more i think so let's go back and do this one two three and that one one, two, three, and then I think we're gonna go back and do at least one more to make it a little bit higher. This is maybe not the correct texture for a palm tree, but it should be all right. And like I said, we don't know until we try. We'll just give it a shot and we can always do the other one in a different way. So now when we squish them together, it just makes a cool little texture there. It's kind of interesting. And if we stick it on the side, it should be long enough because we don't want it super long either. I mean, we could always use those ones to twist it around, but we're going to try that. So say we do this, then we got a whole bunch of ends to deal with. I hadn't thought about that, but we can definitely deal with that. Let me just think of what I want to do with all these ends. I mean, some of them you can just clip. So why don't we do that? Let's just clip off a couple of the ends. Otherwise, we're going to have way too many. So I'm going to bring this one around and, oh, you know what would be cool with these? You can turn them into 
into coconuts. That might be interesting. Let me just cut off a couple of them. That one maybe, and then maybe this one. Although maybe we want to keep some more than that. I'm going to just keep a couple of them for now. So these are our, our um, leaves or what did you call them? Fr fronds, I think. I'm going to make a butterfly. I could, I could probably make the butterfly today. Yeah, yeah. So let's just take these and I'm going to just make a little loop at the top because I think we're just going to... I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we're going to try it. We're going to clip this. Yeah, I did want to make the butterfly and the parrot today, so I'm hoping we'll have lots of time for that. And let's line these ones up and see where it will do the loop for that one. I'm just doing a little loop in the end of this just to attach it. So we've got that one and that one. So this is a way to make the leaves of the tree and they'll just hopefully just hook on. So this is what we've got here. It looks like a hula skirt, hula hula. So these, this is what I have for the top of the tree. And then what I wanna do is I'll bend one of these wires straight out and thread these two things, the two loops on there and we'll see how that goes. So we just, it's kind of interesting. I just threaded it on there. Hopefully that's going to be long enough. It's going to be a little tree. It should have maybe been a little longer, but let me just see how it's going to look because we don't want it too high either. I could, should have done it maybe a little higher. I could always bring it up a little bit more. Here, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to remove this because I should have probably made that a little higher, but it's all right. So let me just twist these ones a little bit more. They'll be, able, I'll just bring them up a little higher. So that one will go in there. Bring this in here. And hook that in there. Okay, I could have also done a little loop at the top of that tree too. So what I'll do to start is just take this wire and hook it all together. And then that way, at least it's secured in one spot not sure if that's the best way to do it, but it's okay. So we're going to just hook that in there, bring that one around. So we have it secured in one spot. And these are like little branches from the outside. So what would happen if we took this one and brought it up to the front? And I'm going to actually hook it onto that branch or that in between the intersection of those things as well. I'm gonna tighten that up here. So there's one, and then this one could probably just get clipped, I imagine. I don't think I'm gonna use that one. So let's clip that one. And then why don't we do one on the other side where we do the same type of thing. I'm thinking these leaves should have maybe been filled in a little bit, but it's all experimentation, so let's bring this one through. We don't even have to wind it through. We just have to slide it through. If we slide it through there and again, is that the one I wanted on? Maybe the next one over. Let's bring it over here to the next one over. So it's a little asymmetrical. And then let's wind it through here. Okay, let's make sure my hands are in the right place. I'm gonna move my hands back a little bit or maybe bring Put this, put the camera out a little more. See if that's gonna work. That might or might not work. We're gonna see how that goes. So now I'm gonna bring this one through here and up again. No, that didn't quite work. Bring it back down there. Cause I want to, the whole table to be covered. So let's take this one, bring it here. Uh, what in the world is this camera doing? Okay, let me move it a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna move this. There we go. That might be better. Sorry for the jiggling. We're gonna see if that's centered now. 
And if it's not, I'll have to adjust it a little bit more. Yeah, I do want to bring it back. Oh my goodness, sorry for all the adjusting. Move my chair. I'm going to bring this one back. And hopefully that's better. Okay, so now we're going to bring this one up here. So we have all of these greeneries, which maybe should have been filled in a little bit more. I guess I could also put beads on them. And I think I want three coconuts. So let's take this one and bring it back through. And we can either make the coconuts out of beads or we can... I'm going to leave this wire so I can attach it. So we've got three wires here. And I can also, let's see what it's going to look like if I fill this in with a bit of beads. Hi, Jolie Jolie. Hi, Jan. Greetings from the UK. Awesome. So if we take one of these wires, I'm just curious to see how this is going to work. If we add some beads. So I do have the green here. I'll only do one tree because I'm going to run out of time. But that's okay. So I want to put beads and for coconuts, I'm either going to use beads or I'll make them out of wires. So if I use beads, I'm going to need some brownish ones. I don't have brownish ones there. Oh, these are cool. They're wow. Those are really cool. I don't know if I have any more like that. Let me see if I have any more like that one. And uh, we can do coconuts with beads I think would be fun because otherwise you could do them with spiral wire but they might be more fun with the uh, beads so let me see what I have I also have wooden beads that might be good so let me grab the wooden beads and I have a bunch of other random beads Sorry, well I'm just looking in my cupboard to see what I have. I'm going to show you guys, actually I'll show you guys all my beads. I hope they don't fall all over the floor, but okay, so here's, I'm going to move this for now. I'm going to move this for now. And what I have is this thing of beads. So this is a bunch of random stuff. These actually would make cool coconuts. This is some kind of semi-precious stone. So let's get three of those and see how those are going to look. I don't know if they're big enough. So I'm going to just get a bunch of possible beads. I'll just put them in this lid. Um, I have amber ones. Oh, that's a crackle bead. That's going in the garbage because crackle beads break. And I have, what else? I have wooden beads which might be cool. I can look in my wooden bead section and, oh, I have another one of those speckly beads. So let's look at that. Let's see if I have a third one. I don't know if I do. So that's one bead section. And I'm going to, oh, here's another wooden one. I don't know if that one, if I have three like that, I can check. I might have three like that. One, two. Let's see if I have a third one. And then you guys can help me choose. Oh, here's another speckly one. Excellent. And another wooden one. So we're going to have a few choices, but they're all the same size. So let me just see what else I have. I have all my wooden ones that are in here. Oh, thank you so much, uh, Amber. I did. I missed that comment. But if you guys uh, are commenting, make sure it's about the wire art and jewelry making. And if you have any questions, you can ask me uh, directly uh, in the comments about wire art and jewelry making, or you could send me an email at info at heatherboydwire.com. So there we go. So we're going to, I don't have any other wooden beads that are a suitable size. So those are gonna get closed up. And this is some other random beads. Let me just open this up. And I don't know that I have, oh, these are a little bigger than those other. These are like the speckly ones. 
but they're a little bit bigger. So those might be suitable. Let me take those out. Those are cool. Okay, I think we're good for bead possibilities. So let me remove that. Let's bring this one back. Here's, here's all our possibilities uh, for the coconuts. And then for adding the beads to the tree, here's our seed beads. So let's have a look at that. Let's just try it. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. So what I'm going to do is just bend the end so the beads don't come off and put a bunch of these beads on and we're going to see how that looks. So we'll give that a shot, put a bunch of beads on there. This could be, this could take a while. That's the issue with this. It might take a long, long time. So what I'll do is I'll look at one. I'll attach one of them maybe, or at least show you what it's going to look like. If it looks good, I can always, after the live stream, add all of them because otherwise it's going to take us a long time to do the whole tree but if I can at least show you how it looks you guys can decide whether it's something you want to do or not and the other thing is you can stagger the side uh, size of the beads so they actually get smaller like we did with the banana you can make them smaller at one end so let us get this and see if we let the beads go to the end, just going to remove these for a sec. And if you hold those on there, they would probably look really good. What do you guys think? I think they're going to look really good on there. So let's go ahead and put a couple of them on because I do like them. Okay, so I am going to take this wire and wind it around. Yeah, I wasn't sure how it was going to look, but I think it's it looks really good. So I'm actually going to put it through that loop. Let's remove these wires a little bit. I'm going to put it through this little loop here and wind it around just to secure it in place, the end. So that's nicely attached there. And then this one, we can... How are we going to attach this? Let's try this one first. So if we're going to take this here, around here, and I want to be able to see those jagged edges. I'm not 100% sure this is what I want to do or not. Let me guys, let me know in the comments if you think I should do the beads or not the beads. Now I'm not 100% sure. I might I might get some smaller ones after. I think for now I'm not. I'm going to take them off for now and then after I might put the beads on. But if you're going to put beads, just get a separate 24 uh, gauge wire and attach the beads after. So it's up to you guys if you like the beads or not. But for now, I'm, it's going to take me a long time. So I'm going to just remove that wire. My hand slipping. There we go. I'm going to remove that wire and distracts from the jagged edges. Yeah, that's what I thought. So unless they're much smaller, I don't think it's gonna work. So now you can decide what size coconuts you want. So I have this bigger size. This would be a 10 millimeter. And then this one, we have three different beads. We have this one with the little speckles on it, which is kind of funky. And then we have a smaller is that the wooden bead? No, that's not the wooden bead. We have smaller wooden beads, which are interesting, which are cool. So, oh, can you guys see these ones? Let me know if you, what you think of these beads. So I have the speckly one, I have the wooden one, and I have the larger semi-precious stone one. And I also have the smaller size semi-precious stone. So let me know what you guys think of the beads. Uh, hopefully they're clear enough. Can you see those very well? It's hard to see the speckly one, but it's it's got like little black and blue and red speckles on it. And then there's the wooden one. It's very hard to see. And then the semi-precious ones. Uh, Maria, so cool. Oh, thank you so much. I wonder... 
The, I like the wooden or smaller semi-precious. Cool, cool. Let's go with the wooden one because A, a lot of people have wooden beads and B, it's the same texture as an actual coconut. So that's interesting. So now if you're going to attach it, you can probably even either just leave it like bend the end or you can maybe wind it around to integrate it a little bit more. Say you're going to wind it around a little bit. Let's just do one I might or might not do it that way. I'm going to see. Uh, let's get another wooden bead. Here, the wooden beads aren't really the same size or anything, but that's okay. So we have another one here. I don't know if I want to wind it around with too much wire or not. I'm going to see. I'm going to do another one. We're going to bring that one around to wind it around because sometimes it looks a little more finished when you do wind it with the wire. So if I bring that one around here, it's kind of interesting. You know what, I'm just gonna wind it around a little bit and then clip it. You guys can attach these any way that you want. So let's do another one where we're gonna just wind it around here to bring it around through there. And it's a sun catcher, so it doesn't have to be like super, super secure either, like you would say if you did a brooch or, or earrings or something. So let's just clip that off. And then we have another third one we're going to put on here over here so this is really interesting i like this so we're going to bring this one around surround it with the wire like i said to hold it in place it's nice to have the coconuts in slightly different positions oh it's funky it's very uh, stylized and representative and that's what i like about art is when it's very representative but not necessarily super um realistic wooden ones nice yes randy sandmaker is randy nice to see you yeah it's coming along so i i think i'm gonna skip putting beads in the leaves or the i forget what you called them already amber this uh, you fronds or something like that so here is what we have so far this this wire i'm going to keep to attach it to the frame We've got this one around here. I will put a better picture of this in the community section so you're gonna be able to see exactly what it looks like. These are the ends that are going to attach to the sun catcher. So this is what we have so far. And then we're gonna attach it here. The tree ended up being a little bit on the small side, like quite small. This is what we had here. So maybe, the, maybe this part should have been a little wider. We could probably widen it out too a little bit you could definitely widen out the the trunk the idea behind this is this isn't the actual height of the tree because it's somewhat cut off in that um, design so we're going to move these to the side we want to attach these here and then this one well, I'm going to bring this one over this way because, I mean, you could definitely go off the frame. Like, yeah, like if it's up to you guys, you could go off the frame or you can get it cut, like stick it inside. I kind of like putting it off the frame. Why don't we try that? And we're just going to wind it around a couple of times to hold it in place. And then we're going to attach these. I can always adjust that. Now we're going to attach these to the side and loop them in to attach them. So now let's get our, cool, thank you. Off looks good, yay. So let's take this and wind this around. And again, this one, making a little hook. And this one, making a little hook. And then this week on Wednesday, I'll be doing a regular Wire Lady TV episode and we're making armadillos because I had done templates for the armadillos months ago and never got around to doing the live stream. So that might have even been a special request from somebody. If it was you, let me know because I it was so long ago, I don't remember. So here is, we've attached this to the side. We could maybe try to... Get this a little bit bigger. Try to get our tools in there. 
try to widen it out a little bit. So I'm, I'm not 100% convinced this was the best way to do the trunk, but it was definitely one way to do it. And then see this giraffe, we're gonna have to slightly attach it to the tree so it stays in place, because right now it's super wobbly. So let's bring this one over here. This is the side. So I think if we have it, yeah, if we have this going to here and maybe get a little, I'm just gonna get a little wire to attach that. In fact, I'll probably end up winding the whole thing with some stones or something like that. But for now, I'm just gonna get a little piece of wire and attach it together. Hi, Karen. Yes, we're in Africa for our field trip, exactly. Yeah, and uh, continuing the, from the Let's Get Wired live stream yesterday because I didn't get the piece finished. So I'm gonna do what I can today to do a little bit more and whatever I don't finish, I'll just do uh, on my own and post a picture. But in the, any case, after the live stream, I'll post a picture of this in the community section and in the Slack app. So I've pinned the link to Slack. If you guys wanna join in and participate and make some jungle animals, uh, that the templates are available in the Slack app for the next week until March, whatever Sunday is, 4th or something. And um, yeah, the templates will be there. And then after, if you're watching this in two weeks or a year, the templates are still linked below and they'll be in my Etsy DIY shop. And the templates for the live streams are only a dollar less than the price of a cup of coffee and it helps support my channel. So there we go. So we're gonna clip that and that. So now these are attached here so it won't slide. And uh, let me know if you've posted anything in the Slack app. Uh, my battery's gonna die for that device, but that's okay. I can definitely, uh, definitely uh, plug it in if we need to. So I'm gonna bring this one up and actually this one I'm gonna also attach above the vine so it's so the pieces aren't going to slide apart you want to attach them above and below uh, something else to hold it in place so I've just gone and done a nice little twist there to hold that in place give it a good little clip there so we're get we're just rolling here guys I do like the way that looks going off of the frame but now we have to attach the giraffe to the tree so I will get a little piece of the green wire to attach that. I'm gonna grab a sip of water. We have the sun coming out today, so uh, we might be a little shadowy. Oh, there we go. So I have cut a piece of 24 gauge wire and we have to attach the giraffe in a way that it's not gonna slide. So this is the top part. We're going to bring this one a little bit over, maybe there, just push her over a little bit. I was hoping this, this uh, branch might stick out a little bit, so I'm gonna curve it out a little bit more. It's I find it a little close to the edge. That's kind of interesting when it has a curve, so let's do that. I could have used four pieces of wire to do the tree, and then it would have been a little bit wider, but maybe we can widen it out a little bit. Let's just try to widen it out a little bit because right now I find it a little bit squishy. So let's bring that out a little bit more. And this one too, flip it around. There we go, that should be better. Okay. okay. That should be good. So there's, that looks a little better. Can flip this around a bit. So now let's attach the giraffe to one of the, the little leaves there, because otherwise it's gonna flip back and forth. So maybe it can be even be in front of it or to the side maybe. Let me just move this over. And bring this one over a little bit. Yeah, so if we if we attach the this part of the giraffe, maybe gold would be better. So let me get a piece of gold. Uh, make a tongue out of giraffe 
A tongue, that's an idea. That would be an idea for sure. So now let us just take this little wire, 24 gauge, and I'm just gonna attach the antler or horn, I don't know what you call that on a giraffe. And we're gonna bring it through a couple of times to attach it, get in there, perfect. Okay, that's good. And that one, I think that should be fine. It's just, a, it's almost just tacking it in place. It's like doing, I don't know people, if you guys are sewers, but when you do sewing, you just tack things in place with a couple of stitches. So this is the same idea. We're just gonna tack it in place. So it's gonna hold in place. So there we have our palm tree, which I think the leaves do need a little more detail, but I'm not convinced about the adding beads. And then I also wanted to fill in the elephant a little bit, but let's do the butterfly uh, next. And I have to figure out, the monkey ended up being a little bit too big. So that was a little bit of an issue. I um, I didn't end up remaking it, but I think I'm just gonna leave him like that. I'm gonna move him up a little bit closer to the branch here, to the vine. We're just gonna move him up, but you could definitely do the monkey a little bit smaller. He just ended up being a little bit big. There's this fun little um, coconut. You could do another tree on the other side would make it look more balanced. So I'll probably do another tree on my own time. I don't wanna waste your guys' time. And I might fill in some of these leaves with, a, with smaller seed beads because the other seed beads are quite big. So let's do the butterfly right here. And I will get some wire. Maybe I'll get a prettier wire. Let's see what I have in 20 gauge wire that might look nice in there because I have all kinds of pretty 20 gauge wires. Don't you like how organized I am with my wires? And uh, we have some colors here. And I'm gonna move that to the side. So I'm probably gonna need a new plastic bag because plastic deteriorates. Uh, if you press the cog wheel for the settings, there's closed captions. Aha. Uh -huh. Yes, so there should be. Yeah, if you go to the settings, uh, you can click the the closed captions. Uh, but I'm not sure during the live if you could do that. It might be just during the replay. So I'm not 100% sure about that. So let's do the butterfly with a different color. I'll just do it with the pink. You could do blue or pink. I don't know, where's the, where's the other color I have? I have this one. I have blue or pink. I think I'm gonna do pink. So we're gonna cut a piece of wire for the butterfly and I'll show you the hack that I have to make both sides of the butterfly the same. You can trace the pattern if you like, but I also like making butterflies in a way where they're symmetrical, where you just take the wire, bend it somewhat at the halfway point. We could even, I'm just trying to think, no, I'm just gonna do it this way for now. So we're gonna bend them. I don't know why this wire is a little bit crinkly, but we can straighten it out and it won't translate in the chat, yes. Some closed caption works live. Okay, interesting. That's good to know. So now I'm going to take a, Sharpie's gonna be a little big, so let me get another round form. I'll get a pen or another Sharpie. So I also have this pen, <clears throat> excuse me, that I took the ink out, so that makes a good tool for doing uh, curves. And then I have Sharpies, this size Sharpie that I like to use too. No CC on live, okay. Yeah, that's a, that's a shame, but I guess uh, YouTube has to process 
the language and all that. So now we're going to take this one and start forming the butterfly. Let me remove some of these things that are distracting. And if we, let me just remember what size I want to do. So if I'm going to try to copy that shape, looks like the bottom, I don't want it too big either, but I don't want it too small either. So if we, it looks like the bottom one goes kind of somewhat like that and then up. I can fill this in with some beads or details later. We're going to bring this one on an angle here and then curve it to here. So that would be the bottom wing, whatever shape you want. But if you just, this is just going to mean that both bottom wings are going to be the same size. And then we're going to take this one, bend it back and then up. And then we can form whatever shape you want on the, on the top. So hopefully you guys can see this. I'll have to bring it up a little bit more and then curve it around, around and then out and then up. And then if you want that top one to be sharper, a sharper bend, you can get the flat pliers. Otherwise you can take this and then bring it down and it's going to Maybe I didn't, I did it too big. We're going to bring it in a little more and then bring that down. So what you have right now are, looks a little big that one, but I think it's all right. Okay. So this is the butterfly, what we have two so far. The top is a quite a bit bigger than the bottom one, but that's probably all right. You could always rotate it in a little bit more. So this is the top and the bottom, and then they're going to be the same size because you did them together. And then all you have to do after that is, do we want to push it up yet? We're going to open it up. So we're just going to open it up like a little book. And then we have our butterfly. So now, depending on how you want to do this, we could bring this one up. And you can put a bead for the head if you want. I'm just deciding what I want to do. You could do that. So if we bring this one up and then that one up. So if we brought those two both up, this one maybe has to be a little bit tighter. And then we can get a bead because the 20 gauge isn't too thick. We can actually slip a bead on both wires. If, if you have a bead that has a um, biggish hole. So say I want to go with the hot pink. The Miracle beads have a pretty big hole. So we're just going to put this one on here. Stick this one on there. Just ignore the phone because it's probably spam. And we're going to stick that one on here. And there's our little butterfly. It looks super cute. And then from there, I'm going to take one and put it to the one side and one to the other. I cut this wire way too long, but that's super cute. And then we can just do little spiral antennas there if we want. So to do that, you could either use my cone method, but this is really small. So rather than use the cone method, I'm gonna cut these two about a little more than an inch and then just bring it up and make sure they're the same size. So we have these that are the same size and you guys know I usually use the cone method where I put a cone and wrap it around but because they're so small I'm gonna just do it this way. Oh Jolie I wish I could understand what you're writing but unfortunately when I'm on live I don't have time to translate comments. Sometimes I'm able to put them in Google Translate translate the comment and then um, generate a response in whatever language in Arabic or whatever language you speak. But when I'm live, I don't have time to do that. So I will answer any comments you have um, on the replay, not or if you comment under the video on the replay. So I don't generally go back in the chat because otherwise it would take me way too long. 
So we're going to bring this one around here. And yeah, if we had someone else that spoke Arabic, we could have a translator. But unfortunately, I don't think anybody in the chat speaks Arabic. So we're going to do that there and there. And we can spread these out a little bit. So there's our cute little, our cute little butterfly. Now you might want to put some detail in the wings. And then what we want to do is we're going to attach it. So it's flying somewhere. So I really thinking I want to do a little bit more detail, but I'm not quite sure what with maybe uh, gold or I could do silver so let's take some gold wire here and Jezerbeck hello who is that um, Turkish writing it looks like I have a friend from Turkey I've been to Istanbul many years ago but I never learned the language so now we are going to Try to do a little bit of detail in there. You could add some little beads. Let's just play for a second and see if we were to add beads. I don't know if it would, if it's worth it or not. I mean, you can add beads if you want to add some different colors in there. I'm not sure what color you would want to add, but say, for example, you did want to add sea beads. You could. It's going to get very colorful, but you could definitely add seed beads in there if you want to. Um, the other thing is I can just wind this around the middle. We're going to play with this for a little bit. We're going to wind this one around because we do need a wire after to attach it. So say you did want to add some little beads or details in there, you can bring this up and you can even do some little loops on there or something. I don't have well, I probably have some thin, I do have some thinner wires too. I could add some other colors on there. Maybe I'll remove that for a sec. Okay, I do have some thinner wire. So in theory, I could add some details with some thinner. This is 24 gauge wire. So say I wanted to add details with the 24. I can just put that one in here. Put that. And we can bring this one here, wind it around. And then we can bring this one up. This is just one possibility of what you can do with this butterfly. There's a lot of different possibilities you can do. So you can go ahead and do some loops or something in here and there. I don't think you need too much detail, but say you want to do three little loops just to give it some detail. So that's kind of cute. You can just do three little loops and then hold this up at the top and then I would just finish it off. I would, oops, I went in the wrong section. So we're going to bring that one down, bring that one around and then you can just clip it. So that's interesting. It just gives it a little bit more detail. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's a delay there. So it's a little bit blurry. Plus the fact that I'm on my, I'm streaming on my iPod, which isn't the best. Next time I'm going to use my iPad. It's just I, I wanted to keep the iPad free in case people share it on Slack. But normally I live stream on my iPad. So there we go. So we've done these little loops again. And we're going to stick that in here. And bring it through. I'm going to bring that through there. And then I'm going to be able to reuse the rest of this wire to do the bottom one. So we're going to clip it. And then bring it back. Wind it around the middle of the butterfly again here and here and we could do the same down here if you want to put a couple of more loops so we could even just do two if you want because 
the bottom wings are a little smaller, so we can just do two, one here, and then one here, and then we can just wind it through again. So take that, and there, that. So this will probably be it for today. I'm gonna to add a little bit of grass to the bottom, and then the parrot, I think I'm gonna do that another day. In fact, I think I have some tutorials on how to do the parrots. So that definitely is uh, something that you guys can, can look at to add the parrot. So now this one here, a couple of little loops. Uh, uh, maybe just rotate it down a little bit. And then this one here. And I might even hop in, hop on the live stream again tonight to finish it up. We're gonna see. We're doing this one in stages, that's for sure. So we're gonna take that one, bring it around, and then that way, if you guys work on it during the day and post pictures in the Slack app, then I'll see it. So there's our little, cute little butterfly right there. And I am going to now get the gold wire because we want to attach it, like I said, to the tree or something. So let's go, go ahead and get our gold wire to attach it. Or it doesn't have to be gold, it can be any color. So I'm gonna take this one here, wind it around. I just want it to be a different color than the butterfly. So we're gonna wind it around a couple of times so it's secure. There we go. So cut that, clip it off, and let's bring back our cute. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Amber, for um, checking the chat there because some of those comments I'm, I miss before they, they get removed, but I appreciate you doing that. So here's our little butterfly. Uh, I just wound it around the sort of the middle of the butterfly, but I guess you could wind it in a different way if you wanted. You can stick the wire up and have it down at the bottom. Maybe that would be better. I'm not sure I like it in the middle like that. I'm gonna remove it for now, just to see. Okay. What if we just do it from the bottom? Kind of like the idea of having it from the bottom. I don't know if it would be, if we'd be able to feed it through that bead because it already has two wires in there. But if we could feed it through the bead a little bit and then bring it down the middle back, bring this one around, it might be a little more solid. So we're gonna bring that one around here. I kind of like the idea of it being held from the end of the butterfly, so that works. And then this wire you can just bend to the back and clip it. That's not a problem. So there's that actually works better. And then you don't have that distraction in the middle of the butterfly. So imagine we had another tree at the side here, and then the butterfly is going to come out this way, but we're gonna smooth this out a little bit. And then I'll probably finish the rest of this later to, what time did I start? What time did I start the live stream? Does anybody know how long that I've been on? I'm not really sure. Hi, Marilee. So I'm gonna wait and I will attach the butterfly after I do the other tree. So all I have to do is the other tree and the bird and I'm gonna fill in the elephant a little bit with some swirls a little over an hour. So yeah, I'll stop now. I'm gonna Fill this in a little bit with some chaos wrap. I'll show you quickly what I'm gonna do there and then I'll do it uh, off camera because it's gonna take me a while to do. So my idea for that was to take some 22 gauge wire. We can cut a decent sized piece and then I might try to go on live tonight if you guys are around in the evening, say around, I don't know, eight o'clock or something and to finish the rest. So, but for the, for the elephant, I was thinking to fill it in a little bit like we do with the chaos wrap. So either with 24 or 22 gauge. So basically you, you just take the wire and swirl it around. 
Um, it doesn't have to be perfectly smooth, but you bring it around and then you can do other areas too. We're going to bring it around here. And if I had a more maybe elephant color, like a gray, it would be okay, but silver's fine. You know what would be nice was would be the gunmetal gray. I actually don't think I have any of that. But you see what I'm doing? I'm just doing a kind of, they call it a chaos wrap, which is basically just swirls everywhere. So if we do like this and this type of thing, and then you would just attach it to the elephant. I think it'd be really cool. So we're just, we would just attach it to the elephant. Maybe just bring this one in here. And I'll do the rest of this after the fact, but I'm gonna attach it to the back of the elephant. So we're gonna take this here, wind it around, bring it through. Okay. I wonder if I did the ear with a thinner wire, if it might be interesting too. So I'm actually just gonna clip this end here and take this one, bend this one in. Oops, it's gonna, because I want it to hold in place. So you, you wanna pinch it, but you don't wanna clip the wire. So if we do that, so we already have a little bit of filling in the detail type of things. So we're gonna do that, push that in there. So we have that and that, and then we're gonna wind it around. I'm probably gonna have to use a few pieces of the 22 uh, gauge wire, but this will give you an idea of how we're gonna start around here. There, okay. So see, we've got like this little spiral thing going here. So that's, I'm gonna fill in the rest of the elephant like that. And we can go ahead while it's attached, bring it around and around. And your best for this to use a very soft wire. I actually have a really great wire that's gold. That's very soft, but because I decided to do this in silver, I'm just gonna use this one, the 22 gauge artistic wire, although it's a little stiffer than my gold wire. That's, my gold wire that I have that does this is officially 20 gauge aluminum, but it's, thin and soft, so it's not good for a lot of projects, but it's great for this chaos wrap. So we're gonna do this, wind it around a little bit more. Say you need help with this to get it more curved, you can do that, bring it here. And then what I'd like to do is twist it the other way to do the, the other, like to continue the chaos wrap, you kind of alternate directions of the spirals. It just makes it a little bit more interesting and you kind of just keep going until you run out of wire and then we'll get a, a different wire after the fact. So now this one is gonna come over here and we'll wind it through this end. And then I'm gonna see what it looks like if I use a thinner wire for the ear. And then this one I'll fill in before I start the next live stream tonight. And you know, don't worry if you guys can't make it, it's not a problem. I don't usually ever do it in three bouts, but each live stream is a slightly different part of the sun catcher. And Sometimes, depending on the time of day I come on, we can get different people. So that's interesting. See how that nicely fills in the elephant, if you can see that there. And let me get the 20, um, do I have it in here? 24, that was 22, right? Let me see if I can get the 24 gauge silver. 
and we'll use that to fill in the rest. If I can find it, I thought I had some here. What's this one? 22, um, 18, 24. I have it. Yay. And I found another 22 gauge silver. So there's this, 24. So let's get a piece of that one and see how different it looks if we use that for the ear. See if it makes sense. So we're gonna cut this. Looks so cute, thank you, Kathy. Looks good, thanks Karen. So let's take this. And let's try the ear with a thinner, just so it's a little more contrasty and it shows up a little better. And then that'll be it for today, and we'll do the rest tonight. The continuing saga of the jungle sun catcher. There we go. So we're going to bring this one around and around. Around. And then we have to attach the butterfly. But I'm going to attach the butterfly after I do the other tree. And we're going to bring this one around. So I make almost like a little infinity sign because I go one way and then the other way. We'll get that out of the way. We can remove that just for a sec. There we go. Get stuff out of the way here. And then we're going to loop this this way. And then I have to go shopping. I have to go to the post office. I have to go to Costco. I sold my last comic book to someone in Montreal on eBay, but I have to send it with Canada Post. I could drop it off, but I have to send it with Canada Post because they require a tracking number. So I have to go to the post office to mail that. So we're gonna bring this one around. So yeah, so if we just did these little spirals, now we're gonna bring it over here. The higher the number, the thinner the wire. Yes, yes. So this is 24, which is much thinner than the 20. So we're gonna take this one here. And this may have had too many loops in it. So I'm gonna just rein that one back a little bit. Okay, bring it in. So this is the chaos wrap. And now we're gonna attach it to the top of the ear. And then I'll do the rest later but you guys will get to see the contrast between the chaos wrap with the 22 and the chaos wrap with the 24 so we're just going to attach this in a way that it, it attaches the intersection of where the ear goes around over the body this is getting in the way yeah, so we're going to do that there, and I might even do one to the other side just to really secure it in place. Sometimes it's better to secure it in a few places, and I will clip that in. So there you guys can see. It's not easy to see. You'll see on the in the photo for sure. So this is 22 gauge wire, a little thicker, and this is the 20. I could even put my spirals maybe tight, more tightly together, smaller, and then you'll see a contrast between this bigger, more open spirals, and then the smaller, tighter spirals, because you want to be able to distinguish that that's the ear. So that's it. I'm going to flip the, the jungle is filling up nicely. Yes. Yeah. Oh, and the butterfly. So that's going to get attached. And then we want to do maybe the parrot because the, we're getting a little full. I might even put the parrot outside of the of the sun catcher because he might get he might not show up. So there's that. I'm gonna flip the screen and say goodbye for now, and then hopefully see you guys tonight. I'm gonna to flip this around. There we go. So thank you so much for hopping on for part two of the jungle. Sun catcher and part three will be hopefully tonight. I'll try to hop on around eight o'clock tonight Eastern time. Thank you, Amber, so much for always moderating the chat. You guys can get the templates in the Slack app. It's pinned at the top of the comments. I'll put it in the in the description below. So that'll be available for until next Sunday, free of charge. You can download it, print it, 
use it and then after um, a week it'll be in my Etsy DIY shop. So guys, thank you so much for hopping on. Have a great afternoon and we'll see you the next time. Peace out. Bye.